Excel 2013 Advanced Functions and Formulas At this stage you're probably thinking that you've perhaps picked up the wrong title. Is it going to be too advanced? Am I going to be out of my depth? Well, I would hope not. There's only one way to find out. Let's have a quick run through of what's going to be happening and we'll see if that suits what you're looking for. So the first thing we'll do during this title is actually get you warmed up a little bit, getting you thinking in Excel function format. So we're going to start by looking at the basic functions of sum and count and the syntax and how to use them. How to find functions that exist in Excel. There are hundreds and hundreds of them. So finding the one that will meet the job that you're trying to achieve. We then proceed to looking at naming cells and how that's going to make creating your functions and formulas so much easier. 3D referencing. If you've never tried it before, it's worth trying. It's the ability to run functions across multiple cells and multiple sheets. We also look at absolute referencing. Again, something that's a must if you've not touched on it at all in the past. By this stage, you should be pretty much warmed up and we can start to turn up the gears and make things a little bit more advanced. So then we move on. And we look at if, nested ifs, average if, count ifs, sum ifs. So lots of functions that involve the if statement. Adding in other functions that really only work with an if statement, such as and, or, and not. Then we look at a variety of lookups, including vertical lookup and hlookup functions, but also index and match that will help you retrieve information from one set of cells or a range of cells into another. We then look at a number of mathematical functions such as ceiling, floor, m round, int, mod, all very useful. How to generate random numbers. So that's a whole mathematical section on its own. We then delve a little bit into the statistics side of Excel, looking at pulling the median and ranking data, large and small values. But there is much more than we could ever cover on statistics, but it will get you started. We look at the functions and formulas that you can use when dealing with text in Excel. Although you would see and expect to use Excel as a number crunching tool, it can do a lot of work with text values and strings. We look at dealing with dates and time in Excel, always a nightmare, but once it's broken down into small components, we can see how we can get much more advanced with our dates and times manipulation. We look at a number of information functions. We can use information functions to find information out about the current sheet, the current book, or about particular problems with cells, or even just checking on another cell. We then do a little bit, again it's a bit like the statistics, we're going to scrape the surface of arrays and how they work and how you can create them, so array functions and array formulas, but there are so much more that you can do with arrays once you get started. So that's our advanced formulas and functions title. Hopefully I've not scared you too much and you want to get going and get delved in, if at any point you have any queries, questions or comments that you'd like to raise about this particular title, then feel free to email me at training at nybytes.co.uk. Above all, have fun.